Hello, welcome to the C.D. Hilton Senior Parent Finale Rally presentation. Our counseling department staff this year is Mr. Barry Smith, Ms. Ayumide Sequoia, Dr. Christy Genova, Ms. Michaela Beatty, Mrs. Nicole Petrie, Mrs. Holly Banner, Mrs. Ruth Rodriguez, Mrs. Christina Waugh, Mrs. Sarah Smith. Course requirements for graduation. There are two types of diplomas. One is the standard diploma and the other is the advanced diploma. Both diplomas require two sequential electives and CPR first training, first aid training. The two sequential electives mean that of the electives, two of them need to follow each other in sequence. For example, art one and two, criminal justice one and two. The other electives can be from anything that you want. For foreign language on the advanced diploma, three years are required or two years of one language and two years of another. SOL requirements. There are now five SOL tests required. Besides that, students must also pass one CTE exam or take and pass one honors or AP course. SOL retests are offered in October and November for writing. All non-writing SOL tests will be offered to any student who needs to make them up for graduation. The senior planning timeline. September through November is the time for seniors to make their post-secondary plans if they have not already. They research colleges and note the particular application requirements and deadlines. Register for the SAT or ACT if they have not already. If the student is wanting to go in the military, they can register for the ASVAB. They should sign up for college representative visits, which are at Hilton High School in Naviance, attend the financial aid information night, and they may begin to submit their FAFSA anytime after October 1st. December through February is the time to submit college applications or talk to a military recruiter if enlisting, research and apply for scholarships, and keep the grades up. March through May, students should visit colleges offering them admission if they are unsure where to attend. Look for cap and gown ordering information review financial aid packages from colleges, continue to apply for scholarships, and note that May 1st is the National College Decision Day, which means all colleges need to know whether you are attending their school or not by this date. June through July, graduate from Hilton High School, register for freshman orientation at your new college, and inquire about placement testing, finalize housing arrangements, and keep checking your new college email account for notifications regarding course registration. College admissions exams. There's the SAT, which is $55, and the SA is no longer offered, or the ACT, which is $60, or $85 with writing. This last year, many colleges did not require the SAT or ACT, because of COVID. They may not require them this upcoming year, but your students should chill, still check with the admissions requirements for the colleges they are choosing to apply to. Any date in red is offered at Hilton High School. Students need to go to the respective website for the test they wish to take at least one month prior to the test date to register. Our recommendation is that students include on their registration form 
the colleges that they want to receive their exam scores. If they do it during registration, there is no extra charge. If they wait until after they receive their score results, then ask the organization to mail the results to their colleges, there is a fee. There are a few college fairs in the county. The Eastern Prince William County College Fair will be held at Woodbridge High School on September 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. and the Western College Fair at Colgan High School October 19th, 6 to 8 p.m. There is no charge to attend and no pre-registration required. Upcoming senior events. The College and Career Counselor will be doing a whole group how to Naviance lesson for all seniors in the auditorium on September 1st and 2nd. They will learn how to sign up for college visits and the ASVAB test, search for scholarships, how to request letters of recommendation, and how to request transcripts. For transcripts, the first three are free and the mid-year and final are also free. After that, it's $5 each. Then the Kelp Alpha counselors will be calling seniors down individually from September 8th through the 17th to do graduation credit checks and ask the student about their post-secondary planning. Post-secondary plans could be employment straight out of high school, military enlistment, attending a trade or technical school, attending a two-year community college, and having guaranteed admission to transfer to a four-year school or going straight into a four-year college or university. The School Counseling Canvas page has a wealth of information for seniors. There is a Senior Information tab at the bottom. From here, the student will find the Senior College Planning Timeline. They'll also find a link to Naviance and they will also find links to financial aid and scholarship information. ASVAB testing. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery is a test used by military recruiters to determine a person's work strengths and assign them to a position where they would experience success. We offer the ASVAB at Hilton High School twice a year for free. It will be on Tuesday, October 5th at 7.30 a.m. in the library, and again on Tuesday, March 22nd at 7.30 a.m. in the library. Students need to register for the test in Naviance under the College Visits tab. The College Application Process. We recommend that you select co colleges of an appropriate risk level. Two that could be considered a reach, two that are a 50-50 chance or a little better to get in, and one, as we like to call it, a back pocket school, one that you know you could easily get into. College applications are done online. It is the student's responsibility to meet the respective deadlines. The different deadlines are early action, early decision, regular decision, and rolling admission. Early action is just that. It means you apply usually around November, before November 15th, and you find out early if you get in. Early decision usually has the same deadline as early action. However, an early decision application is a binding decision. If you apply to that school and are accepted, you are required to attend that school and you must withdraw all of your other applications to other colleges. A regular decision application is usually due sometime in January and then you will find out if you are accepted usually around March, April. Rolling admission means the college accepts applications on a rolling basis and considers them as they come in. Students need to request their official transcripts through Naviance and should give us at least two weeks 
before they are due. Please take note of winter break. Winter break does not count as two weeks. We are talking two weeks of in-session school. Seniors should take the SAT or ACT no later than the January test date if they're wanting to use that score for admission. Students can request their official score reports for SAT at collegeboard.org or ACT from actstudent.org if they didn't already request the colleges send or the organization send their scores during registration. Financial aid night is to be determined. The FAFSA application window will open October 1st. This year's seniors can apply anytime after October 1st for federal financial aid for college. Students will receive notification of their application status from the college. If accepted, a financial aid award letter will be sent to the student from the college. Financial aid resources. There's the free application for federal aid, which is called the FAFSA. The application window will open October 1st. Prince William County District Office hosts an annual financial aid night with a date to be determined. The CSS financial aid profile is another application, but only some colleges use this for non-federal financial aid. The application costs $25 and it's submitted through College Board. This is generally something done with private schools. And then there are scholarships, both national and local. There's lots of money available. Students can check Naviance, Canvas, and Hilton's College and Career Planning pages and several other online search engines. But beware of scams. Do not ever pay to enter a scholarship competition. The College and Career Center will collect scholarship and award information in the spring. Whether or not you plan to accept it, please let us know what kind of scholarships were offered to you. Senior Awards Program will be held May 26, 2022. And that's the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.